Greetings! It's Maxo Diddly. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up Visual Studio Code with your Godot. So before we do this, you're going to need Visual Studio Code downloaded. So there is a link in the description below for you to download and install Visual Studio Code. And once you've got that installed, you need to make a note of where you installed Visual Studio Code. And if you don't know where it's installed, there's a few things you could do. You could open up the installer and look at where it's going to install Visual Studio Code and copy and paste that file path. Or if you've already got it installed, another way you could do so is you go to the start menu and you type in visual and then stu st studio and then find where it has Visual Studio Code. What you can then do is you can then right click open file location and this is going to give you the shortcut to Visual Studio Code. And then you can right click on it and then go to properties. And here is going to be exactly where your Visual Studio Code exe file is. So we want to make a note of this file path and copy it without the speech marks. Once you've gotten the location of Visual Studio Code, we need to go into Godot and we need to do a couple of things. So we need to go up to editor and then we go to editor settings. And once you're in the editor settings, you're going to need to scroll down until you can find the text editor section and then click on external. And once you're here, you need to firstly tick use external editor. Then in the exec path, we need to click on the little file here. And then we're going to paste in the file path where our Visual Studio code is installed. And once we do that, we need to then find the exe called code.exe, which is right here. And then we can click on open. Now, if you were able to copy and paste the entire file path for the code.exe file, you could have simply just pasted it in here. After that, we need some exec flags. And an exec flag is a command line argument used to control how an external program, such as a text editor, behaves when launched. What I'm going to have is the is a link to the Godot documentation and a link to where you can just copy the exec flags used for Visual Studio Code. These are the exec flags that Godot recommends and it just allows you to jump to a specific part of a line of code from Godot, which is quite nice. So once you've done all, the, all of that, to then go to click on close and we're going to click on one of our Godot scripts. So we're going to click on pikadrag.gd because it's a Godot script. And as you can see, it's going to open up in Visual Studio Code. And then we can close the release notes because we don't care. And as you can see, our test project is here with our code and we can type stuff in it, which is great. But there is one more thing we need to do. We need to install the Godot extension. So click on the extensions here and we're going to type in Godot minus symbol tools. And this is going to be the extension you want by gquilm. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the install button here. So we're going to install it into our Visual Studio code. You may get an issue here saying the specified Godot executable isn't working. So you can then click on select Godot executable. And you can select where your Godot is installed. If you have Godot installed on Steam, you can right click on your project and then go to properties. And then you can go to installed files. And then you can click on browse. And this is going to be where your Godot project is installed. And you've even got the location for your Godot executable. So you can copy the folder file path and go into Visual Studio Code. And then you can put your thing here and they're looking for this executable. And then you can click on reload and your Godot tools are now successfully installed, which is great. But there is one more thing we need to do. We need to click on the settings here to manage and then click on extension settings. And we need to alter the Godot Tools LSP server port. So we're going to go back into Godot and we're going to go to Editor, then Editor Settings. And then we're going to find the Network tab and then go to Language Server. And we want to make sure the remote port in Godot is the same as the remote port in our Visual Studio Code. So here I've got 6005 and over here I got 6008. So I want to change this to be 6005. And then once you've done that, you can hit the enter key. After that, I recommend you close Visual Studio Code 
And then what I want you to do is I want you to then open up a GD script in Godot. And now you can see that it's working. We've got syntax highlighting, which is great. So now let's just test that we can edit code here. So I'm going to add in a little debug log message, which is going to be print, this is a debug message. And then I'm gonna go back into Godot with my saved script and then I'm gonna hit play. And if I pick up the Pikachu, it says this is a debug message. And this was code we edited using Visual Studio Code as opposed to our Godot IDE. So, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.